Hello students. Today we will discuss regarding different information systems. Information systems are uh, those kind of systems where we can store information, we can retrieve information, uh, we can we can process information, we can create uh, information from uh, our raw data. There are uh, different information systems, as you know, like management information system, like executive information systems, like transaction processing systems, all are the basic information systems. But today we will be more specific. We will discuss regarding some other kinds of information systems, like financial management information system, marketing information system, um, human resource information system. So this kind of information systems. Mm, are there and today we will discuss about uh, the initial two information system like financial management information system that is short form is fmis and marketing information system but before mm, going to the specific information system let's try to understand what is information system and uh, why it is needed okay, so for that i'm sharing one uh, document with you mm. from here you can see that information systems are interrelated components which is working together to collect, process, store, and disseminate information to support decision making, coordination, control, analysis, and visualiz visualization. Actually, visualization in an organization, or so. So basically, it will be visualization, uh, visual visualization in an organization so that means what that means information system can and can and it's it's a it's a, it's a, it's a uh, integration of different components which helps us to uh, collect process and store information and it is used for this is to support decision making then coordination among different departments of an organization then controlling one process then analysis something and then visualization uh, visualizing something okay uh, so this is basically information system now there are different components of an information system the basic components of an information systems are number one is data because from data we are actually uh, we are ultimately going to generate information then 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 software some softwares are needed as it is an information system computer based information system so we need some software we need some hardware uh, under the under the software and then commun communication network or computer network which is also very important because we have to ultimately integrate all those things so computer network is very important and not and and, and very important part is people because ultimately the people are going to people is going to i mean uh, they are going to use this information systems so these are the components of an information system now uh, so this is written uh, here actually. So technology means we want to we want to uh, uh, we want to mean is that hardware, then software, then data, and the computer network. All these are coming under technology. Okay. Now specifically, there will be hardware. Different kinds of hardware will be needed. Okay. Different kinds of software will be needed. Like uh, uh, like some application software like Microsoft Excel. Okay. It is also a um, kind of software which is um, which can be which can be used in an information system. Uh, so there are different kinds of so there is different kinds of softwares okay mm, then data data is a raw, raw raw format so data is that is the collection of facts actually so this data will be important then network communication is important so and then people obviously people is important so these are the components of information systems and at last but not the least people i, I mean process process that means suppose uh, we are generate we are, we are creating one information system for some business process actually whatever we will create that will be used in some business uh, that will be used in some uh, activity so that activity the basic basic um, basic structure to understand the basic structure of that activity is very important that means to understand the process that means to understand the business process more specifically is very important because ultimately the business process is going to be converted into the information system so obviously we have to understand the business process and there are different kinds of business, different kind of business has different nature, different kind of business has different nature. According to the nature of the business, the process will be process will be going to be changed. 
so um, we have to change the uh, change our information system also with that so we have to understand the process okay so these are the components of information system so now as you know there are different kinds of information system like transaction processing system which is used at the bottom layer of the management bottom level of the management then the management information system which is used at the um, top uh, top portion of the bottom layer and the lower portion of the middle level management okay then decision support system which is going to be used by the senior managers and the executive information system ultimately used will, will be used by the top level managers and thus the executives so these are the different these are the very prominent information systems we know now um, if you see that uh, there are different kinds of knowledge and different uh, uh, kind of data and information will be used in different layers of the um, management and with that uh, the information systems is also going to be changed like in transaction processing system our main resource will be the basic data that means the day to day data we will deal with the day to day data the office support system like microsoft team you can say or microsoft uh, uh, office 365 um, here we will generate some information some specific information and that information is going to be used by the management information system management information system will deliver different kinds of reports different analytical reports and all that and based on that the decision support system will help us to help the managers to take decisions and ultimately that that result will be used by the executive information system so here two or three things are coming one is what is uh, no, types of knowledge actually we have to understand the types of knowledge so there are mainly two types of knowledge tacit knowledge and explicit knowledge now tacit knowledge is the knowledge which is which can be gathered tacit knowledge it, it can be gathered by the by your by, by your experience by your thinking by your competency by your commitment to the work and by your previous activities so from there we will generate the 95% of the knowledge which is tacit knowledge we, we can then can gather the 95% of the knowledge that is the tacit knowledge and explicit knowledge is only the 5% which is um, coming from the data information what we are we have or we are gathering and then the documents we have then the records we have or we collect and the files and all that so that is the explicit knowledge so mainly the knowledge portion is the 95% is the tacit knowledge and if this can be generated this can be generated by your experience by your thinking by your competency it will come from our inner side and explicit knowledge it will come from the outside okay so there are two types of knowledge and here if you see tacit knowledge is used by the executive information systems and explicit knowledge will be used by the vision support system okay so this is written over here actually explicit knowledge implicit knowledge tacit knowledge right and then Mm, we are coming to the a specific portion that is the financial information system now financial information system is a system which which is dealing which is dealing with the every financial activities of an organization now the activities will be uh, are different for different kinds of organization so that's why i have told you that you have to first you have to understand the business process and then you have to try to convert it to the information system so financial information system if we see and this is a very 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 uh, abstract picture of a financial information system it's a, mo a model of a financial information system you can see where the main thing is the database you need a database to store the data and uh, on the data you can run different activities like you can run accounting information system you can run internal audit sub system you can run financial intelligence sub system uh, intelligence sub system to forecast something or like that okay forecasting sub system funds management sub system control sub systems and ultimately all these things will be used by the users okay now here if you if you look there are two arrows one one is white arrow another is red arrow now the white arrows are indicating the basically this white arrow is indicating the data and red arrow is indicating the information so you can understand that uh, ultimately this data is going to be converted into information here okay and that information will be used by the users right so that is the uh, one of the model of a financial information system now uh, financial what 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 is the job of the financial information system the job of the financial information system is to collect information is to prepare different kinds of reports is to support policy decisions is to prepare an execution of budgets okay is to is to is to prepare various financial statements and uh, it, it also in, it also uh, provides the budgeting analysis and reporting kind of activities it also provides us the uh, facilities of auditing okay so these are the basic uh, basic job of the financial information system right 
uh, and then the then the uh, basic building blocks. If we see the basic building blocks of a financial information system, then we will find that there are uh, general ledger, accounts payable, accounts receivable, a budgetary accounting model, module, a payload system, a procurement module, how the things will be procured and all that. So that thing, a project ledger module, an asset module, whatever asset we have. Uh, we need to uh, uh, we need to we need to calculate that asset and all that. So all these things will be tracked by a financial management information system. So we can say that the basic building blocks of a financial management information systems are this are these things. Okay. Now what are the advantages of financial management information system? Advantages are enormous. There are lots of advantages. Like uh, first of all, it makes the decision making process faster, and that's our most that's our main motto. We have to we have to uh, we have to. Mm, uh, make our decision making uh, process first. Okay, so that's in that way only we can we can compete to our competitors. We can we can give a competition to our competitors. Okay, so it makes the decision making process faster. Then it helps in planning, preparing the different plans. It makes the business more efficient. Obviously, when you can make plans faster, when you can uh, forecast something, when we can uh, uh, make decision faster, then we can we can we can make our business more efficient very very easily. You can understand that. Then it gives us a competitive advantage, as we told you, as I told you, and it allows for integration. Now, integration means different uh, the information from different departments can be integrated very easily because I have I have told you that information systems the one of the major component is computer networking. By using the computer networking, what we are doing actually we are integrating the different um, uh, types of information from different departments, so that we can take better decisions. So that is the, it allows for integration. So these are the things basically the advantages. Now uh, there are another kind of information system today we will look that is marketing information system. Now marketing information system it refers to the systematic collection, analysis, interpretation, storage, and dissemination of marketing market information from both the internal and external sources to the marketers on a regular and continuous basis. Means what? Means we are collecting data, we are analyzing the data, we are interpreting it, we are disseminating it, we are storing it of mar different marketing information. From both the outside and within our organization, uh, both kind of sources to mark to the marketers who, who is doing the marketing to the marketers. Actually, ultimately, by this module, by this information system, we have to provide support to our marketers so that our marketers can um, uh, perform well. They can perform more competitively. Okay, they, they should have informations. They should they should have information whenever they have they required. Okay, so ultimately, our mo main motto of marketing information system is that. And ultimately, by using this marketing information system, we are trying to make our marketing activities more, uh, more, uh, more, uh, more, more, more competitive. Okay, uh, <coughs> we can we can make our marketing activities uh, more efficient. Okay, uh, like like the marketing information system distributes the relevant information to the marketers who can make the efficient decision related to the marketing operations like pricing. What will be the pricing of a product? Packaging. What will be the how the packaging will be? Okay, new product development. Whether you should go for a new product development. Whether how how you will distribute it? What type of media we can use? Okay, uh, uh, what type of promotion activities, promotional activities we can take? So this kind of this kind of decisions can be taken very easily if we have a good marketing information system, right? So every marketing operation works in. Uh, 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 Unity with uh, the conditions prevailing both inside and outside the organization, and therefore there are several sources like internal marketing, internal, then marketing intelligence, then marketing research. All these things are important. All these things are important. So obviously, if we see the components of marketing information system, so these are the components. First of all, your internal records, whatever records you have, then you, what 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 marketing intelligence system? Whether you have a good marketing information system, if you have a good marketing information system or marketing intelligence system, rather <coughs> marketing intelligence system, then you can uh, predict it well that how you will promote it, how you will, how you will develop a new product, what will be the packaging of a new product. So marketing intelligence system will indicate these things. Next is marketing research. The things will be come from the marketing research. Okay, and this marketing research will also guide you. Uh, to take better decisions regarding the marketing procedure. So obviously these are the components of marketing information system like internal records, marketing intelligence system, marketing research. Research is very important because, because uh, whatever is, um, uh, how we can enhance our process, how we can make better packaging uh, by less cost, okay. How we can give some competitive competition to our competitors by, by doing a better packaging, 
So marketing research will indicate this. Marketing intelligence system will indicate this. Help uh, internal records and external records will help here. And marketing decision support system will give you it will give you a clear indication that uh, whether you should do this or you should, you should do that. Okay, so that decision will be better understood. The decision will be better. The decision can be taken better can be taken on the in a better way by using the marketing decision support system. Okay, so that's why we have included these things that like internal records in the in the internal records. Obviously, you will have some customer database. You will have some product database. You will have some sales person database. This will be very important. This will be very handy to your marketing information system, right? Next is marketing intelligence system. The intelligence system provides the data about the happenings in the market, whatever is happening in the market. Therefore, the data relates to the marketing environment, which is external to the organization. Okay, it includes the information about the changing market trends, which is very important. Change is the only constant that we have actually. So it includes the information about the changing market trends, competitors' pricing strategy, whatever what my competitor is doing regarding the pricing and all that. And so change in the customers' tastes and preferences. Okay. New products launched in the market, promotional strategy of the competitors, etc. So these are the marketing intelligence system, which which will be which will be better understood by the, I mean this 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 by by this um, competitors pricing strategy, change in the customer taste and preferences. These things can be better understood by using the marketing intelligence system. Like right. Next is marketing research. Marketing research is the systematic collection, organization, analysis, and interpretation of the primary or the secondary data. To find out the solutions to the marketing problems, okay. Uh, several companies conduct marketing research to analyze the marketing environment, environment comprising of changes in the customers' tastes and preferences, compete the strategies to scope of new product launch, etc. So, marketing research is uh, we are doing marketing research uh, because of to understand the taste and preferences of the customer, to understand the um, competitors, whatever they are doing. To understand the um, how we can we can we can make our product more attractive. So for that, or 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 more importantly, we have to understand the um, uh, need of the customer. So for that, we need marketing research. So obviously, in marketing information system, one of the major component will be marketing research, and then the marketing decision support system. Now it includes several software programs that can be used by the marketers to analyze the data collected so far to take better marketing decisions. Okay, so that is the marketing decision support system. So these are the components of the marketing information system. So, uh, hope you have understood the thing. Uh, we have also shared some note for you, note note with you, note note with you in Google Class. So you can go through that notes also. Okay, thank you.